There's no oversight on online political punditry to make sure that you're in pursuit of wisdom and goodness. No, like, of course you, you directly I mean, profit from propagating viewpoints that are more polarizing what, and that suck what, people what, deeper what into more conspiratorial well, thinking. Hold on. So what you're doing is you're actually insulting the audience, not me. Because the vast majority of this audience actually enjoys watching my videos and they enjoy hearing from me. I never, and said, so, no. I never said your audience didn't enjoy no, because, watching your videos. Because you say I'm profiting. The way you I'm, do profit. Like you, you financially, you, think, you make a, a ton of Who money do you think from getting rewards more clicks. Me, the audience rewards me because they find that I bring some I don't, value yeah, yeah, well, I don't and that they learn something from me. What, What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back to going to new videos. Today, we're going to be checking out if she did not have a nose piercing. She might have one daily beats. This is by Charlie Cook. According to Charlie Cook, you've got a little kicking us. Let's get right into this video. Do you view democracy as an American value, something that's very important to the fabric of this country? No. Where is democracy in the U.S. Constitution? Oh, okay. So are no, you... No, hold on. Where is the word democracy? I, I don't think the word democracy yeah, is in not. the Constitution. So where is the but... word democracy in any of the founding well, fathers? A lot of the there, founding there... fathers had extremely elitist viewpoints around who no, should... No, hold on. Hold like... on. I, I just want to... You said the word democracy, so I want to get back to our roots. Yes. Where is democracy mentioned I don't... in the Federalist Papers, the Constitution, or the Declaration? I think it's good that this country has moved away from Got things it. that were explicitly... So it, it, is mentioned by the in the Federalist fathers. Papers, and it's mentioned negatively as a problem. So you ask me, is democracy a fundamental American value? I say no, okay, because I go back to our roots. And do you Hamilton, uh, Madison, and Jay? Oh, I know that Hamilton was anti-democracy. No, no, like well, hold on, these people thought that people should be but owned I, as I, I want to be clear. I am. Yeah. I am pro-representative government. Okay. But I'm not pro-democracy. That's a big difference, and that distinction is important. But you ask very specifically about democracy, which okay. is not an American value. It never has been and never should be, because what is democracy? Democracy is majority rule no matter what. That there's no provisions of checks and balances, no inalienable rights, no separation of powers, pure if the majority gets it, the majority wants it as quickly as possible. I don't advocate pure democracy. I do understand that we live in a cool. representative, no. like we live Got in a it. republic, so I and I, I understand these things. I representative government. Yeah. Okay. And you might say I'm splitting well, hairs would, on words, but yeah. I, I'm not. Well, see, that's coming from a place where on some level we have a level of democracy in this country, and people vote, and it's part of their civic duty to vote. Sure. Yes. Do you not think it is in the greater interest of this country at large that its citizens are as educated as possible to therefore be able to participate in that I system. I think they should be as wise as possible. And I don't think that education and wisdom are the same thing. Yeah, in fact, I understand. I think, I think college uh, uh, disincentivizes the cultivation of wisdom. In the age where, like, you, there is such a hypersaturation of, and we've seen this, like, extremely polarizing, um, different, like, like people are getting their news from wildly different sources. Yes. People just don't interact with the other side at all. Do you think that being an autodidact, in any sense of the term, is going to give you a thorough and rigorous education if you are like so likely to end up sucked into these holes where you're never well, interacting? That's not with my people only form have... of learning. I okay. meet a lot of cool people. I learn from people like you and mm. others. I mean, I'm listening when you're talking. It's not just a shtick. Um, you haven't won me over on any of it, but you had an opportunity to. Um, but I'm, I'm glad you, you attempted to. But yeah, I mean, you learn in other ways other than just sitting in a classroom, listening to a professor drone on for 90 minutes and pretending to read his book and paying 20000 a semester to cheat on the t exam at the end of the semester. I think college is what you make of it. I think. I agree. So people, is life. People are selling themselves short no, on their I, education I if they you, don't. You can, you can listen to as many podcasts as you want. You can meet interesting people. And Academia you, does have like an actual level of like. You, you have to prove that you're worth your salt, at least to have peer-reviewed papers published, no, I mean, yeah, which you, you don't have P to do to start a if, podcast. If you get a PhD, yes, but hold on. So is, is your contention that I'm not informed or not worldly or not wise? I want to be clear. I'm not making any claims about your specific level of being informed. I'm okay. saying the general like rhetoric on the right against education, against higher education well, specifically. Why do you think it is? Is it because you think we hate smart people or is it that there's something happening here that we really think is troubling? I think it's it's much easier to control people who are less ah, educated. Ah, see, now you're a conspiracy theorist. So, well, no, it's... Anti-intellectualism is a hallmark of fascism. Do you think yeah. we're against higher education because it cr largely has created an ungrateful, unprepared generation that goes into the American body politic and does not share the core American values of freedom of speech, gratitude for our founding, consent of the governed. In fact, it's hyper radical, and it's against it's against our traditions, our norms, and our customs. And it has it's created massive fissures. We call that the woke mind virus, if you will. Mm, okay, that makes. It's not because people are easier to control. In fact, we love learning. It's all, I learn every day. In fact, that's why I'm pro Hillsdale College, where it's probably one of the hardest colleges in the country to get into and graduate from. The problem is that 
when you are learning largely trash and crap, and you're not going in the pursuit of truth, beauty, or, or goodness, and you're not trying to inculcate wisdom or good character. There is, there's no oversight on online political punditry to make sure that you're in pursuit of wisdom and goodness. No, like, of course You, you directly I mean, profit from propagating viewpoints that are more polarizing and what, that suck what, people what, deeper what into more conspiratorial I, well, thinking. Hold on. So what you're doing is you're actually insulting the audience, not me. Because the vast majority of this audience actually enjoys watching my videos, and they enjoy hearing from me. I never, said, so, no. I never said your audience didn't enjoy no, because, watching your you, videos. Because you say I'm profiting. The way you I'm, do profit. Like you, you financially, you, you make a, a ton of who money from getting more clicks. Who do you think rewards me, though? The audience rewards me because they find that I bring some I don't, value. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't and necessarily And that they learn something from that me. whatever gets I the most get to the next eyes question. on a specific... But, but yeah, it's no, easy to attack me as exploitation. What I say is actually very popular and resonates with people. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. This was interesting to watch. I love the entire debate. It was, it was really beautiful. It was, it was nice. Um, she, I understand her point of view. Someone who is not educated can easily be deceived on several ways. Like when you are not uh, learning about something, you can easily be um, deceived and you feel like that what, what they're saying is true, whereas what they're saying is not true. It's good to be educated. It's good to go to school. But Charlie's point of view is, is that if you are going to college and you are... You actually know using anything you are learning in college to do anything in your life. But you're paying tens of thousands of dollars to go, 10,000, 20,000 per semester to go to college. And during exam, you also cheat. And when you're done with everything, you tend not to use your results. Then there's no point of you going to college and also spending the such time and finances and going to college. You can do something else with your life. So that's Charlie's point of view. Uh, I actually get Charlie clearly. Charlie is not saying you should not go to college, but what is saying that they're ripping you off from college and people don't want to see Charlie's point of view. But the guy's point of view that I'm seeing is that she's telling Charlie that when someone is not educated, when someone um, is not lenient enough, or someone does not go to university, they can easily be um, deceived. They can easily be um, easily moved around. And the society we live in undermines people who do not go to college. Either people choose to accept it or not. The society we live in undermines people who do not go to college. If like, you're not a graduate, why? How do you talk to me? You can't even speak English properly. How do you talk to me? That is the society we live in. But if you, if you, if you, if you kind of like see what Charlie's pointing to her is that without college, you can be something very, very great in your life. So the discussion itself left from Democrats to a Republican, then they entered, I said, knowing more about college. Their discussion entered into college. And they, she, she brought out a word of Charlie ripping off. I use the word rip because that is exactly what she's trying to say. Ripping off from people who watch this video. That is an hurtful word to use. I use that word. It's a very hurtful word. If people who are watching Charlie's video do not see that um, relevant or educative or something who is some, someone who is imparting their lives they will not watch his videos someone like me i watch a lot of Charlie's videos. i can't look i've lost numbers of Charlie's videos i have watched a lot of them i have watched up to the extent that i started reacting to them so you won't tell me that charlie is ripping off from me i am learning from him what i never knew before i am getting more awareness and clarity and seeing his point of view and knowing this man is actually saying the truth. Let me bring out his videos to my channel and let more people be aware of him. It's, it's as simple as that. I love his words. I love how he handles the leftists. I love how he brings positive wisdom to me and educates me in a different pattern. And this aspect of LGBTQ, transgenderism, socialism, um, masses, he, he deals with such issues perfectly. And also politics too. He deals with deals with this very, very perfectly. And I respect him and I love his, his videos a lot. That him making finances from inside, why they pay him, it's it's not a bad thing. He's creating value. You understand? He's, he's creating value and, and I love his content. That does not mean he's, he's ripping me or he's stealing for me or he's manipulative. No. He's impactful in society. He's impacting me. I've never seen him before, bro. From his, I've watched a couple of his videos, a lot of his videos. 
but they have all these videos have actually have massive impact on me so guys comment down below what you think about this video give it also a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like an old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake oh bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed i got scales all